Hey, what's up, guys? This is meant to be a quick gambler's alert video. I've not done one in a while. Um, I was not planning on making any wagers this weekend. There were no fights that were worth uh, wagering. Boxing or MMA, in my opinion. And uh, I guess a few hours ago, I was looking at some YouTube videos. And I watched the, uh, I think it was T-Street's video on the uh, Clarissa Shields, Hannah Rankin weigh-in. Uh, he showed how they went hit head and played some of the zone interview where Clarissa Shields said she was going to knock out uh, Hannah Rankin. And Clarissa Shields is uh, upset, I guess, the things that Rankin has said. So, you know, I got to thinking. I said, you know what? I said, you know, let me check the odds on this fight, man, and see what they're giving for a knockout. Uh, you know, because I just, you know, I knew Cl Clarissa Shields was like a minus 10,000 favorite. You know, none that I was going to play. So, I went to ProBoxingOz.com. There are two casinos that, um, well, they don't have, uh, they don't have odds for um, Clarissa Shields to win uh, inside the distance or the fight doesn't go uh, to a decision anything like that there is uh let's see it looks like uh william hill and ladbrokes uh let's see ladbrokes has a minus 200 for fight goes to decision william hill has clarissa shields winning by ko at plus 175 all right but there's an even better wager man at my casino five dimes and also at sport bet they have uh over under on this fight they don't have any props uh i don't know if they're gonna add some later or not but they have the over under set at eight and a half rounds all right there's a full eight rounds and then half of the ninth round of course this is only a 10 round fight in women's boxing is uh 10 two minute rounds all right so this is basically almost the entire fight except for the last like 59 seconds and you would lose all right if it went over all right um they have the under at a plus 275 you know um i was kind of shocked when i saw that man i was like wow um that could be a bit of a gold mine man you know i'm not saying it is i'm not saying bet the house but this is the way i look at it all right Clarissa Shields is a minus 10,000 favorite over this girl. The bookies, when they made the line at five dimes, let's see, they had Clarissa Shields as a minus 7,502 favorite. All right, so not too far off from where uh, she is now. You know, not a, it, it, it's a good jump, but not a huge jump, I would say. All right, now we all know that Clarissa Shields is, uh, you know, arguably uh, the best female boxer on the planet, uh, you know, if not number two behind uh, Cecilia Breakers. <clears throat> Clarissa Shields won two Olympic gold medals in six fights. She has uh, won multiple world titles. All right, uh, this Hannah Rankin is five and two she is five and two uh i was looking into her background hannah rankin um uh, did not have an amateur career she uh of course has only had seven fights and uh, outside of her pro career i read that she has some white collar fights which is basically like uh, <clears throat> underground unsanctioned fights you know, like uh, like some of the articles I was saying, uh, reading was saying, like that's like Fight Club or something like that. You know, uh, bare knuckle boxing or something like that. Uh, you know, that's it. That's it. That's all. Uh, that's all her experience. So, Clarissa Shields is vastly experienced over Hannah Rankin. Vastly experienced, and I think the public, the betters are looking at this wrong. Uh, 
money actually came in on this fight going over eight and a half rounds at a minus 365. Uh, that's what it said now. Let's see, it opened at minus 350. All right. Um, I think people are looking at Clarissa Shields' record. She has six wins with uh, only two knockouts. Um, let's see, her two knockouts she beat in her second fight. Uh, I think this is the fight I, I saw on um, on uh, Showtime. This uh, Sylvia Zabatos, uh, she TKO'd her. Uh, beat her up bad. All right, and then two fights later, she uh, TKO Nikki Adler. All right, uh, in her last two fights, uh, okay, Nikki Adler was sixteen and zero. All right, um, and then she fought Tori Nelson, who was seventeen and zero with three draws, and then after that, she fought Hannah Gabriel's eighteen one and one. Hannah Gabriels was the woman who knocked her down. Those two fights went to uh, the decision. She won by unanimous decision. But I, I think they're looking at her record thinking that, you know, she doesn't have any popping up punches, that, you know, she's a decision fighter. You know, I've seen Clarissa Shields punch, man. She can, she, she packs a punch, you know. And you have to think about, you know, this Hannah Rank girl, only seven fights, man. You know, these other girls a lot more experience. Um, Hannah Rankin, uh, she lost her last fight. I'm pulling up her box right now. She lost uh, her last fight to Alicia Napoleon. Uh, a unanimous decision. Ten round fight. Uh, Napoleon was nine and one. I think she had like five KOs on her record, I believe. Uh, but, and she looks like a jacked up chick, but I think uh, a lot of those KOs were like against very weak opposition. All right. And another thing about Hannah Rankin, she's not a power puncher. Out of her five wins, only one by KO. And that was somebody who, uh, let's see, uh, a woman who was two and 21 with one draw. All right. So not a power puncher at all. So Clarissa Shields has a vast experience advantage. Uh, I, I would say a punching power advantage. And uh, Hannah Rankin, she may not respect this girl's power, man. Hannah Rankin may, may swing at uh, Clarissa Shields. And Clarissa Shields might just walk through her, man, disregard this girl's power. You know? And Clarissa Shields can get a stoppage without, uh, you know, without a KO or, you know, necessarily a, a TKO it can be just overwhelming the girl man you know uh, such a domination skill so vast that the ref shows mercy that the corner throws in the towel so you know I think the public is looking at this the wrong way I think plus 275 on this fight going under eight and a half rounds I think it's worth the play man I, I have played it you know uh, you know Clarissa Shields two-time Olympic gold medalist a minus 10,000 favorite in this fight against someone who is, you know, very inexperienced. You know, she should get a stoppage on this girl, man. She was saying on the interview that uh, that the fight shouldn't go past fifth round. She's right, man. You know, if Clarissa Shields is everything that she's supposed to be and everything that people say she is, she should, she should stop this girl, man, an inexperienced girl uh, with no punching power, man. Uh, so... You know, I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to tell you guys about that. I think I think it's a very uh, tempting play. So, yeah, let me know what you think, and I will check in with y'all soon. Thanks for watching.